Hey guys, Jared Tebow here with another JTP tech tip. Uh, this time, working on MP9. Going to show you how to uh, properly build a diff. Um, I'm just putting a couple new parts on this, so not a, not a brand new diff. Um, so first, have everything disassembled. Have the diff case here. Um, I use black grease like what you would use in a tent scale um, like for the thrust thrust balls so put a little black grease where the bearing is going to go put the bearing over that and then um, your out drives get some more black grease put it uh, around around the shaft there like that put that in. Now we'll do the gear, do the same thing. Where you have that groove is mainly where you want to uh, get your grease, where you have the groove and the out drive. Just put that in. Next you have your o-rings, I'll do the same thing, get the black grease, try to coat the o-rings, pop that on, Push the o-ring all the way down. Now get your pins. Um, with the with the MP9, you have a set screw on the side, so you have to take that out so you can get your pin in and out. Um, so after I put the pin through, then take my set screw, clean it off on a rag, and we'll coat it in some black grease. I just want all the threads to be covered with the grease just to uh, seal up the hole. Screw that in, screw it in till it's just flush with the case, so, so it's not really sticking out at all. Um, next thing is just to pop your gears on. <clears throat> so put the big gear in first, then uh, do the smaller gears, put a gear on, put a shim on, gear shim um, I actually I run these internal gears for quite a long time um, you know if you're building an mp9 I don't know if you can see that the gears get kind of chipped um, they do that right away so don't uh, you know don't let that alarm you as you can see after I dumped all my oil out you can see some of the gear shavings um, these were new last time I ran this diff so you know all the shavings are kind of just setting the mesh come out so don't let that bother you if uh, if you're running Kyosho diff and the the gears have some nicks in them um, that happens right away it's like it just sets the mesh and uh, they'll last they'll last a really long time so don't worry about that as long as you run these shims um, you really shouldn't have any issues with the internal gears going out on you. So get it all put together like that. Next is the oil. Just put it right in the center. Um, let it kind of fill up around all the gears. 
then I'll drop this top gear in then kind of fill up around the edges the key to building gear 8 scale discs is not to overfill them overfilling them will make them leak um, so they need to be filled up properly so that uh, they last the longest and, and don't leak so I kinda go around if you can see it's not a uh, not completely full um, there's there's oil in all the different cavities um, but you don't want it overflowing so what I do is I kinda run my finger around like this and take some of the oil off um, then some of the oil will go away where the the pins are um, so then I'll just add a little bit to those areas using a 2-0 I'll get the oil out where this pin will go we're filled up just about perfect you want it just a little bit below the the edges of the diff case um, you want all the cavities filled up and uh, yeah that's pretty much what you want so I'll line this pin up with these pins here line up my pin here with the screw holes and then next I will get my gasket ready um, I use a gasket sealer um, just get a little bit on there put it on both sides um, this will help seal it a little bit but the main thing when discs are leaking um, it's normally not on the gear side it's on the other side comes out by the bearing and normally that is just because the diff was too full so filling it up properly helps with your diff not leaking so got the gasket on there line up the pins push it down my screw holes are all lined up um, you don't want to strip out your case so I always set my uh, my clutch on my drill pretty soft you also don't want to run your first screw all the way down um, I'll put all, all four screws in you know not putting them all the way down at first Got it all with the drill, um, with the clutch pretty loose. Then I'll just check the tightness. You don't want to crazy over tighten these, but uh, you want them nice and snug. There you go, MP9 diff ready to rock. Um, so yeah, just remember, uh, you know, you want to put the grease where the bearings go, grease on your out drives. Um, make sure you fill them up properly not overfilling them you know when you when you put your cap on you don't want oil coming out of the screw holes when you screw your screws in you don't want oil coming out of the out of your screw holes that means you have a, way too much oil and um, that'll make your diff leak so uh, yeah hopefully this helps you out thanks for watching